hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you guys how to make a 20 piece press on set so just keep watching to start we're just going to grab our nail tips for a 20 piece set you're just going to use two of each number i'm using the prey nail tips they come zero through nine so i'm just using two of each one we're gonna start with the thumb designs um i did my thumbs just a Frenchie, just simple. With my sizing, thumbs are typically 0, 1, 2, and 3. So that's how I decided that those were going to be Frenchies. I did three layers of a sheer nude base, but I just sped through it because it's pretty simple. Starting with my French design, I just do a smile line in the center of the nail and then I round it out in the center until I'm happy with it and then I just fill it in. I have a more in-depth video if you'd like to watch it, I'll link it in the description and also everything I use in the video, I'll link in the description as well. So if you want to know where I got this or that, I'll have a link for it there. Here are the first set of thumbs. So this is zero, one, and here I'm gonna finish two and three. I'm not gonna make you sit through that all over again. So right here I'm gonna show you them finished. Again, the Frenchies that you just saw were number zero, one, two, and three. Now I'm gonna start working on my accent nails. Accent nails for me are four, five, six. So I'm going to start with some black gel polish on numbers four. I'm getting them ready for the chrome powder. Here they are finished. I put two layers of black gel polish. Then we're going to grab um, rhinestone glue. It's by the brand Macar on Amazon. We're going to put that on. I forget what this is called, but yeah, you see it. And I'm also going to add top coat into it to make it more thin so it's easy to like draw the lines with and it's not too thick and then I'm also gonna put a dot or two or three or four of black gel polish to make it black so it blends in with the black nail tip better and here I am just drawing it out it's really hard to see I know it's black gel polish but I'm just doing like abstract nail, or abstract nails. I'm doing abstract lines. I don't really have a plan for it. I'm just, I'm just drawing and connecting them slightly. Just have fun with it. You don't want to go too crazy though. I did like four, four lines I believe. And then once I was happy with it, I cured it for 60 seconds. Here's both of the number four nails um, cured and ready for the chrome powder. My, I love it, love-hate relationship with chrome powder. It's messy, but the end result is so beautiful every time. I got this chrome powder from my local nail supply store, but I will link a similar one on Amazon in the description. And here I am just rubbing that powder on so pretty sorry if it goes out of focus that's just my camera um i'm using this eyebrow no i'm not eyebrow damn it uh what's it called eyeshadow eyeshadow brush and it comes with the chrome and i'm just rubbing it rub 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 rub, rub, rub. Mm -hmm. 
and I just do it until I'm pretty happy with the finish. And once I'm happy with it, I'm going to dust it off and then you're done. There's that design and here's the other one. Remember, these are the number four nails in the 20 piece. Here are those two nails finished and then look okay so I did numbers seven eight and nine off camera they're Frenchies I did them exactly how I did the thumb so I didn't I just didn't add that into the video because like how many times do you guys need to see me do plain Frenchies but yeah that's why they're there now the only nail tips left to work on are numbers five and number six those are also those are accent nails again so each one is going to be different so let's jump into number five so the number five design is going to have a sheer base um i believe i did two layers actually both of these nails or all four of these nails five and six um they're gonna have two layers of a sheer base there's the nude base and then here now we're working on number five i'm gonna be putting these planet why did i say planet like that bro i do not feel like cutting that so um planet charms on it and we're gonna be putting these chrome pearl charms as well i'm gonna be using that rhinestone gel again and then this uh, what's it called a flash cure lamp if you do any nail art designs you need a flash cure lamp it comes in so handy it's my favorite purchase of 2022 so here I am put a glob of that rhinestone gel a nice big glob because this is a big charm and I'm just gonna put the charm in the middle and I'm gonna use my flash cure lamp to flash cure it for it's the 60 second lamp I just didn't show all 60 seconds because no and then here I am adding more gel so that I can do my little pearl designs so I was just doing different sizes so I use like a big one and a small one and another one and it came out so cute I love these little charms And I made sure, like a trick I guess, or something to help you, you don't want to put the same size right next to each other, because then it just looks really weird. My first nail, I actually did that and I had to trash the whole nail. True story. Okay, so what I just did right now <laughs> was I put some rhinestone gel under the planet because it's such a big charm. I want it as much um, hold on the planet as possible. And then right now I'm just adding more to the top of the planet. God, I hope that makes sense. I haven't filmed a voiceover in so long. This is kind of hard. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope this video is good so far. And here's the other number five now. So we're just doing the same thing. Adding rhinestone gel and adding a rhinestone or a charm. Again, you want to um, do different sizes right next to each other. That's how I feel it looks the best. And 
there's number five accent nails. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, this design is going to be kind of hard. Okay, so this is like a tribal. I don't even know what this design is called, but basically I start with two lines across from each other. Think parentheses. And then I have them meet in the middle like a U. <laughs> I make a U shape in the middle. And I take my brush and fan out the ends of the lines. The ends of the lines. That did not sound correct. The ends. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm so bad at explaining nail art. Yeah. This is very hard for me to explain. But hopefully you're a visual person. And then I just fill it in. Mm -hmm. Fill it in. Again, everything I use is linked in the description, including this chrome paint. That's what I mean by like dragging out the ends and fanning them out. That might not be the right term. And here I'm just drawing the same design, but I'm making it seem like only half of it. You know what I mean? So we're starting with those parentheses. Then we're connecting them in the center and making like a U shape. And then right here, I'm see I'm fanning out the end of that line. And then I just fill it in. I feel like that looks a lot harder than what it is. It's actually a really easy design. And then I'm just adding like little random lines in the middle so they're not there by themselves. And there is number six, one of the number six nails. Here's the second one. And there are the rest of our accent nails. Oh, damn, just kidding. <laughs> We're gonna add those chrome pearls. And then I just lay these down low key. I just laid them over where I kind of like messed up to like cover my, my mistakes. But there, now, the now the 20 piece set is finished um i ended up just putting top coat i used koopa you can find it on amazon and then i filed the edges to give them their sharp shape and here i am just taking them off the stands so that i can box them i get this box from uline i'll link i'll leave a link in the description and I always, 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 always get the question, what am I using to um, tape down the nails to the box? It is double-sided tape. Okay, it's double-sided tape, guys. It's just double-sided tape. And I will link it in the description. Of course I will. 
that planet was giving me trouble okay but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i know it was a little messy it's been a while since i made a tutorial but i hope it helped you and i hope you love this set and i will see you guys next time bye now i got to do things my own way darling you should just